Today we're going to be reviewing Red Dragon's K552 mechanical keyboard. This does come with red switches, but they are Red Dragon's basically knockoff version, but they still sound pretty good. And we're going to be testing just how good they sound in this video. We're also going to be doing an unboxing, a review, and a lighting test on this. If you guys do want to check this out on Amazon while you guys watch this review, I have an affiliate link down below. It doesn't cost you any more, it just helps the channel a ton. So without any further ado, let's unbox the Red Dragon K552. One of the first things that you guys will notice is that this says rainbow and not RGB, which is very important to know that you're not going to be able to change each row's color. So this row is going to stay that color and so are all of those but you can change the lighting effects on how the row provides its color. So you might be able to have some flashing or some pattern in there but you're never going to be able to make that key red. And this is Red Dragon's version of the red switch. On the back here, it does say that we get a switch grabber, which is gonna be very nice, so you can kind of modify the keyboard to your liking. And you can see, in fact, that this is the K552. So we have a little user's manual, it looks like. I don't think we're gonna need much of that. We have the actual keyboard itself. And again, I got the white version, which is just $35 on Amazon. If you go with the black one, it is 30 right now. And of course, with Red Dragon products, you get the red Red Dragon sticker. And here is our little keycap puller or switch puller, whatever you need it for. It's very helpful that they provide that because sometimes you need to clean these keyboards because they get dirty. And especially with the white one, I imagine you're gonna be cleaning this a bit more, but the RGB is definitely gonna look really nice. All right, so they give you a little USB protector there and the cable is white itself. It's not threaded, but it seems pretty thick. It's not gonna just snap if you bend it the wrong way. It seems pretty nice. You do get a little Velcro strap so you guys can try and cable manage this to your liking. And let's go ahead and plug this in and see what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna turn the light off for this just so we can see the RGB a bit better. And it does look really nice with the white keyboard. You can definitely see the glowing around the actual keys. The light comes through the keycaps very well, which is something Red Dragon talks about on Amazon, is that they do a very good job at making the character actually clear. So the backlit keyboard effect is prominent. It's a very simple keyboard. It's just the 87 characters. You don't have the numpad over there. It's definitely a trade-off, but it gives your desk a lot more room and just looks more simple. The only thing that kind of annoys me is that the Red Dragon logo just throws off all the RGB with it being red. I feel like if the Red Dragon logo was just like a neutral color, it would look a lot better. But like I said, a lot of people like to modify this keyboard and they'll just paint right over that and add their own keycaps that they enjoy. So let's go ahead and check what these caps and switches look like. All right, so this is what the inside of the keycaps look like. And this is what the actual switch looks like. It kind of looks pink just because of the lighting, but if I hold it up at this angle, you can tell that it is Red Dragon's version of the red switch. So really fast, let me show you the difference between a red and then a blue switch. So that's red, and that's blue. And I'm gonna have a full sound demo in just a little. So right here, we do have a light that shows you that caps lock is on. It does bleed through to the other light a good bit, unfortunately, but it's not too big of a deal. If you guys flip this on the back, you will see that we have some feet. So you guys can raise this up a bit if you guys prefer to have a slightly elevated keyboard. All right, so let's do a quick sound test and see what this thing sounds like. All right, so I think it sounds pretty good. For a red switch, which usually isn't my liking, I think it still sounds pretty good. It's definitely gonna be quieter than the blue switches, but the blue switches are gonna be slightly more satisfying to click. If you guys live in an apartment or with someone else, they might prefer that you get the red switches. But back to the spacebar, it is a bit more clicky, which I found interesting. But overall, it still has a pretty good sound and definitely beats a membrane keyboard. And after typing on it for a bit, I will say I really do like the angle of it raised. It's very comfortable. You don't have like a wrist rest, but personally, I prefer my keyboards without them because usually the rest is about here and my hand just never hits it. Definitely looks a lot cleaner without it as well. One thing to note, this keyboard does not need any software. All the lighting effects are controlled on the keyboard itself. So now let's go over all the lighting effects that this keyboard offers.
So there you guys have it. That is my review of Red Dragon's K552 keyboard. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it just helpful, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Consider subscribing if you guys enjoy content like this, and I'll see you guys on the next review.